There's been one movie this entire year that all I've heard about is Kristen Stewart's gonna win the Oscar. Kristen Stewart's gonna win the Oscar. Oh, this movie's a masterpiece. Oh, this movie's amazing. I was a little bit worried that the hype would have actually gotten to me, and when I finally saw this movie, I was gonna be like, I don't know if I agree with that. Thankfully, believe all the hype, Spencer is truly a near-perfect film, and it is an excelling and amazing experience to see on the big screen. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing Spencer. This is directed by Pablo Leon and is also written by Stephen Knight and stars Kristen Stewart, Timothy Spall, and Jack Neely, and Sean Harris. Spencer takes place during the Christmas holiday and Kristen Stewart plays Princess Diana, who during this time decides to leave her marriage to Prince Charles. Now, that is really much all you need to know about this movie, and thankfully that's all I knew going in, and that's kind of where I'm going to be a little bit vague with this film, besides what the movie made me feel as an experience, because going into this, I am new to Pablo Liron's directing, and I've never really much experienced a film from him before. I know many people are fans of Jackie. That is now a movie on my backlog that I'm like, I need to check out and see, but everyone that I've talked to said Spencer is a way more developed and better movie than that. The thing that was more interesting to me and especially one of the things that I really want to get out of the way is that if you don't know who Princess Diana is or even things about her past you might be a little bit confused when the film starts and in general within the first act or so you might be like you're playing a little bit of catch up so I do recommend if you're interested in seeing this movie definitely if you don't know anything about Princess Diana maybe do a little bit of background history and looking up into it before diving into this movie because I think it really much would help further out the development for me I knew quite a bit but it definitely helped to at least go back and look back at certain things so I did feel caught up while watching the movie because it does just throw you in to where Princess Diana is in her life at this point in time. Now, this isn't a straight biopic either, and I think that might be something that many people might feel a little bit disappointed going into this if they don't know what they're going to experience. And that's why this review is a little bit different because... I don't necessarily have any cons. I can see where some people's cons would be, which is definitely, again, what your expectations might be for the movie. And that's why I really want to set you on what this film is about and why I absolutely adored it and think this is a musty movie. For honestly, anyone who wants to try something completely different, but at the same time, I feel like it is very accessible. And one of the most accessible things about this film is Kristen Stewart's performance. Bar none, she gives my favorite performance so far of 2021, and I was honestly blown away. I've always known her to be a fantastic actress, especially over the last couple of years. I have been honestly jaw-dropping from a lot of her different performances, Personal Shopper being one of the biggest ones, and within this, I knew she's going to be great, but I didn't know and I was not prepared for how amazing she was in this film. She blew it out of the water. She became Princess Diana. I didn't even see Stuart at all. And my jaw honestly hit the floor multiple times all the way through where I was just sitting there like, that's Kristen Stewart? What? This is a performance that is absolutely career defining and for me I think will be one of the main performances people look back on when we look at Stewart's career as a whole and I think this is the one that will push her to that next level and when people finally see this they'll be like okay yeah she isn't the girl from Twilight anymore us as film fans already know that she is not that girl from Twilight this will really much give her that next level and if she doesn't win the Oscar this year I will be pretty shocked um, honestly like again this is a very transformative performance that ask a lot of her. For the most part, this is a one woman show. There is very much rarely any scene that does not involve her. And that's for the best because the, what the film does is it establishes her as a character within the first probably 10 minutes before the actual title card comes up on the screen. And from then I was in, I was sitting there thinking back on my experience with this movie and feeling like how that first 10 minutes was so important to really understand who Princess Diana was. And in general, why she kind of felt like this free spirit, especially after the issues that had happened in the royal family during this time. And I think that's one of the things that I love about this movie is because while, yes, it is a drama and it's a biopic about Princess Diana and it does explore certain elements like that, the most important part about this biopic is the way that it explores her psyche. 
her psychological nature of what she's been going through and how she feels truly claustrophobic and tortured and in general a prisoner to who she is and where she's at. That for me is something that's absolutely more fascinating than any other typical biopic you probably could have given me that tons of other actors or directors might take on. We see tons of biopics every single year and I was expecting Spencer to maybe be the same type of one but maybe something's a little bit different. No, it's unlike any biopic I've seen in quite a while. Maybe if I would have seen another Pablo film before this, maybe it would have feel a little bit different. But it is a horror film. Bar none, it, it feels like a horror movie at times. And it's a stressful, tense movie that does keep you on edge. And the way that they really much weave Greenwood's score into here is probably one of the best aspects of it all. This jazzy feeling that plays with these nice harmonics, it is jaw-dropping to say the least and it feels mesmerizing to the entire experience again Stewart is the one woman show in here and the way that they make the film feel so intimate and personal with the way that they sway the camera movements at times sometimes they'll have these nice panning shots and then at other times where it gets a little bit baffling to her and it gets up close and personal they go to these handheld shots that are honestly pretty exquisite on the entire film to really much be exquisite in its filmmaking because it really much does feel like a mental breakdown of what Diana was going through and in general feeling every emotion she is and I feel like to really give us that it's a heavy load but it's one that I wasn't expecting by the end of the runtime I was in love I don't want to just still go as far as say oh this movie ends on like a sour note or a very dour note the thing I actually was surprised by is how joyful the film kind of can be especially towards the back half you see again Diana struggles throughout this and it really much is a character study on one person and the issues that they are going through psychologically and physically and seeing how that issue goes and protrudes throughout the entire movie is up until the very last two minutes it is wonderful and again Stuart acts her ass off and the other star of this also is Pablo Liron who I think should also be nominated for this movie for best director I was pretty stunned by his directing and again want to experience what other other films he's ever done I know he's done Jackie her big character piece in the whole entire world that I think he should honestly do and I think that's Marilyn I know we're getting a Marilyn movie next year but I'm a little bit iffy on that one but I was again just blown away by the fantastic way that he took on this movie. And even talking about this movie on a technical aspect, I, I really do think that the cinematography, the score again, once I mentioned, the production design, the costume design, all of that works in strides and really much brings this world, this life, this time period, all to realization. And there's one sequence that takes place in this decrepit mansion of sorts that Diana had grown up in. And it's easily one of the best sequences in the entire movie and probably one of my favorite sequences I've seen in 2021 so far. It's alone in that sequence, while it's a darker and harder to see through scene, the sound design, the sound score, the sound mixing, all that stuff works wonders with certain things that are creaking with inside the house, but also in the way that it reflects to Diana's mental state. Spencer left me speechless. A near-perfect film that excels in direction, writing, score, cinematography, and I cannot express enough Kristen Stewart's career-defining performance. It's haunting, it's claustrophobic, it's intimate, it's personal, tragic, and all-around one of the most unique experiences I've seen all year long. I walked out of this movie and I instantly wanted to go back and see it again, which should say a lot for this experience of a movie because I thought this movie would not want me to have that same feeling, but I need to see this film again. It's a film that I feel like will be studied for many years, and I feel like on rewatches this year or in general just more thinking on it, it will grow to be one of my favorite films of 2021. It's already up there. But it's not my top five yet, but I do think that it possibly could get in there. Spencer is a movie that all of you guys should really much experience. I would even argue if you are not a giant cinephile and you don't know how this film's going to work, I think you should give it a try. I think it is actually pretty accessible for the masses. You just have to understand what kind of biopic you are actually getting here. It is very different in a sense. It is a horror story. So with all that said, I'm going to give Spencer an A. And guys, I cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts on this, but if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, comment down below your guys' overall thoughts, and also head on over to Sam Sean Films on how to see films early, and of course, if you are in the Arizona area and you want to see some cool movies coming up very soon, head over to the Scottsdale International Film Festival's website. It's going on this weekend. You should check it out. Don't miss out. But of course, thank you so much once again for watching, guys. If you're one of my Patreon supporters, thank you so much, because without you, I would not be able to do this, and of course, until next time, Stay classy.